we are going to discuss uh, how experiments in school can be changed using modern technology because so far you must have observed that everything in MOOCs refers to lectures there is no mention of practicals even in higher education so while in higher education you can have pure lectures in school education practicals and lectures are more integrated and the earlier you go in school students have to have more hands on experience that's how they learn so in this initiative we have considered how the practicals which are at present being conducted can also be improved using ICT so we have given you a handout so if we see the top diagram the top diagram shows you digital India using ICT so all these things have been discussed that there has to be an internet connection there has to be a server there has to be a Wi-Fi then PCs notebooks if possible you should have tablets or netbooks and maybe you can do something on mobile so this is where the discussion of ICT now normally ends in all this the data that you are seeing or you are entering is concerned with human interface it has no connection to the real world while experiments that we do have to have a connection to real world so how to bridge the gap using modern technology and how to connect it to the use of ICT so the lower half of the diagram shows you below ICT and C means etc and this Configuration will finally lead to what is called IoT or Internet of Things. You might have heard this term or uh, there is a McKinsey report which says that out of 10 top technologies, the one which will contribute maximum to human welfare will be Internet of Things. Though it is upcoming, it will overtake the Internet itself also, Internet of Things. So what we are going to consider for practicals will become part of internet of things and by the time the internet of things emerges like smart cities you might have heard that government wants to set up hundred smart cities so this will lead to what we can call smart lab that our whole lab will get integrated all sensors and all experiments will be connected and all data can be connected centrally so in this there are two initiatives on the left it says that we interface the real world through some kind of a device for example this XPy is a government project which has a small box which you can connect to any PC notebook or even Akash tablet it draws power from the USB port and it also communicates with the tablet with USB port so the tablet serves as the front end of your equipment so this box contains a microprocessor that is a small computer and it has various connections brought out so you can give it analog voltages you can generate analog voltages you can give digital inputs you can have digital outputs you can get a waveform generated you get an audio signal also it has a microphone inside so many of the things which you might need in your experiments are already inside and then these terminals can be connected in various ways to low cost external sensors like there may be a coil there may be a diode some simple things with which you can do many experiments in physics this is a pre-existing platform we have duplicated this year because this has been published as a it's a government project and it's what is called open source hardware like you have open source software which anybody can copy this is hardware which anybody can copy they have published all the drawings and anybody can copy or commercialize so we have copied it here and we have made XPy equivalent and we are working on mapping it completely to experiments in school so that all school curriculum can be covered so this is one way of doing it which is in the left box on the right hand side there is a separate box where there is no electronic connection where we take measurements using digital instruments and then manually enter those readings into tablet or whatever this is another way of doing it and this is what we'll consider today 
So, the table which is drawn here is based on NCERT 9 standard science. We have divided it into three parts that is physics, chemistry and biology. And the experiment numbers given are as per the NCERT. There are 10 experiments in the first term and 10 in the second term. Second term we have added 10 to that. So, 12, 13, 14 are actually in second term. So, these experiments is given on the left. So, for example, friction force that we keep a block on the table then try to pull it. Normally, this is done with a spring balance, but spring balance does not have much resolution or accuracy. So, every time you release it, it would not go to the same 0. You have to again adjust the screw and the number of divisions available is also not large. So, we have a digital spring balance what you can call. It is automatically 0. If it is not 0 initially, if something is connected, you can tear it and make that at 0. Then it will measure from that basis. Now, if I pull this, this is measuring the force of my pull. And you can see the resolution is 5.835, there is down to 1 gram in 5 kg it can measure, that is one part in 5000 is the resolution which any mechanical system cannot give you, even with screw uh, adjustments etcetera. So, the advantages we will see in the end, but you can see over here and this has a range of 40 kg, you can measure up to 40 kg. So, any school experiments even if you keep a large block and try to pull it you can measure the force with this. So, first you measure the weight of the block with this. So, you get normal reaction. Then you pull the block with a string. So, you get friction force. So, you can calculate the mu. For example, we will not have time to do this. We have this box full of papers. So, we weighed it, it has 6 kg of papers. When we pulled it, it required 1.5 kg of force. So, the mu of this paper to the laminated top is 0.25. So, this reading is so simple you can do many experiments with this and even slight changes you can use a rough uh, top that it you can change the side and you can still resolve the readings. So, this is experiment number 9 that is luggage balance we will come to cost in the end when we see the advantages. Then density by weight and volume. Uh, for this also same luggage balance can be used. For weight loss in tap water and salt water also same because this has so much resolution because salt water has only a few percent more density. Measuring with normal mechanical balance is difficult. While with this because the resolution is high, you can make out the slight change in the density. Then we have bottom pressure estimation. This we are working out. The present uh, method given is you have wet sand and then you put the block on that and see how much it dips. Then you put on the small face and the pressure is more, so it will dip more. Compared to that, we are planning to have a soft sponge full of water. You keep this on top, the more you press, sponge is like a spring, the more water it will expel and the expelled water you measure by weighing. This will give more resolution than how much it is dipping in sand. Then velocity of longitudinal waves. So, for this you will need a stopwatch, which is normally a mechanical start stop. So, this is an electronic stopwatch as nowadays used in sports. This can be hung around this and this is waterproof because it is used outdoors and it is very ruggedly made. And it has a 100 second resolution. So, it is only limited by how fast you can press the button. So, with this stopwatch and if you are counting cycles or counting say pendulum oscillations instead of keeping mental track, you have a counter here this is called finger counter. You might have seen in malls etcetera the attendant counts how many people are going in and how many are coming out and whether somebody has remained inside. So, you just press this this 0, 1, 2 and you can reset it. If you are doing it in the night, there is a backlight also. 
then in chemistry means in properties of materials there is melting point of ice and boiling point of so for that there is an normally you use a mercury thermometer this is an electronic thermometer this sleeve has been put by us otherwise there is a stainless steel probe this can measure from minus 40 degrees celsius to plus 300 degrees celsius so even if you want to see what is the oil temperature for cooking you can measure with this with mercury you can't take chances because at higher temperature it can explode it is a huh? yeah, yeah. and this tip is food grade it is stainless steel you can dip it in food also or pura ha ah, pura up to here nahi tip laga de to ha tip laga ke kaam milega tip tip se laga de ke ha ha yeah i'll show you everybody can't see it but first it will measure room temperature this is 28 degrees okay, okay. now i touch this ha ah, yeah but it will start increasing it has started increasing bahut kam lagega ekura upar ki surface thandi hoti hai na upar ki yeah yeah now because of acids now it has started increasing now and you may be putting the thermometer in a place where you can't go and read like this isn't it with a mercury thermometer you have to be directly in front and in that at that angle where that lens works and you see a large column so here this has a hold button so when you are sure that the process is stable you press the hold button and then it will hold the reading then you can read at leisure which is not possible with uh, conventional thermometer you have to be right in front of that thermometer so this is for melting point of ice and boiling point of water then there is a experiment water absorption by rhizins so rhizins we cannot do the experiment in kilograms of rhizins we have to do it with a fist full of rhizins so for that we need a balance which has a smaller range compared to this 40 kg etc so this is a balance which is really pocket size so this has a range of 200 grams and resolution of 0.01 gram hmm. so this has become zero it has to be kept horizontal you have coin no or your pen we can keep yeah okay yeah it's actually called jewelry balance it's so accurate that it can be used for gold measurement ha huh? 17.6 <laughs> and this by default it measures in grams but it can also measure in tolas because indians like to measure in tolas especially gold it can also you, you just change the unit it will show in that unit it shows in carats also because uh, gems are given as carats and 1 carat is 1/5 of gram but instead of calculating it directly shows you carats also kya question cost will come to in the end okay. now first <laughs> you just see the technology we don't want to mix up yeah. this itself is the pen you can have a look kitne kis mein le do chapter mein ek tik chal jayega ha kis mein ek le ya do le kis mein iske liye kya ek hai karam ha kitna usme kis mein pani uske liye hota hai na ha so 200 grams uh, with 0.01 grams resolution is enough for that no because you will have fistful of rhizins you can keep another cup ek le ek le le to ha yes it will measure yes not only that <coughs> if you want to calculate the number of rhizins instead of counting water drops no no you can give it units so it takes whatever you give one rhizin as one unit of weight and then it tells you the count when you put a fistful there ne par wo chakkar sabke beat alag honge unke to kis kis ke to what i'm saying is for example for screws in industry if you want to issue thousand screws ah. there is somebody keeps on counting thousand screws which is not worth you can use it for such applications where the, it is uniform so there is a units option in that na guptus ma ke liye latent it latent which one ha ah, latent it you can measure because if your uh, heat source is constant uh -huh. isn't it you can see how long it takes for all the water to boil okay. then initially you see how long it takes for the temperature to rise you know specific heat of water then you see how long it takes for it to boil off or to boil the rim and from that you will know what is the latent heat of water nahi time pata chal gaya ha 
टाइम पता चल गया इतना टाइम लग गया हाँ बाकी बट यू नीड द फ्रॉम इनिशियल रेट ऑफ प्राइस फ्रॉम रूम टेम्परेचर यू नो बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम ओनली स्पेसिफिक इट इज देयर हाँ सो यू नो द रेट ऑफ हीट इनपुट isn't it and then temperature will remain constant the rate of heat to constant rehne ka wo to throw change over over approximate other how will you estimate it is 540 calories yeah. there is a constant trend and there is experiment experiment okay so these are the experiments which are immediately possible we have indicated what we are planning in future like in chemistry when you are titrations when you uh, there is some chemical and then see that color changes like uh, ph changes with uh, litmus so there we can use a colorimetry using either digital camera or we can have a color sensor so you can accurately do titration similarly when precipitate starts forming say in a neutralization reaction you just want to detect the point and which at which little precipitate forms so solution becomes slightly cloudy which is difficult to make out by the eye but in nephelometry what you do is you shine a light on that and measure a light at 90 degrees to that so transparent liquid will not have any light at 90 degrees but as soon as scattering particles are there you will get scattered light so which will be start from zero because initially as soon as a slight scattered light comes you know precipitate has started for me even though with eye you cannot see so cloudiness this can detect and finally for biology we are planning to introduce digital camera for taking photographs of large samples and digital microscope from which you can demonstrate in the class it can show it on the tv or you can show it on the projector so that the whole class can see instead of everybody taking turns in seeing through microscope so this is the these are the possibilities and immediate plan for using available technology now we'll come to the advantages so first advantage is reasonable cost and ease of reading so reasonable cost means if you take a mechanical equivalent it costs roughly the same as mechanical equivalent it's not much different so each of these gadgets is roughly 3 to 500 rupees which even a good uh, spring balance will cost you that much even a kitchen balance using spring which a uh, uh, egg merchant uses will cost the same so now the cost of electronic technology have come down so that at the same cost we can afford to have far more accuracy so and ease of reading of course because you directly get digital reading you don't have to count divisions or mirror scale second is high resolution and precision because the repeatability will be very high in this and high accuracy because this doesn't have any friction <coughs> it doesn't have any wear it doesn't have backlash with mechanical systems have the last one is when you want to measure smaller weights so this is a kitchen balance this is 5 kg full scale so intermediate uh, range experiments like even archimedes principle weight loss etc you can do using this also so this also cost 600 rupees or something these are one of prices that is retail prices if we uh, search on the net etc or if we do bulk purchase so price is not going to be a constraint this whole thing is say 2 2 1/2 1000 rupees but with such equipment you can do experiments very fast so in the same time slot which you have you can do more experiments so that is a real advantage and you can do with higher accuracy and the future of this is that with this being replaced by say xpy see xpy all these sensors are not available like if you go to buy a strain gauge and construct the amplifier it will cost you more than the balance so till that cost comes down or unless we hack this and take out signal from that and feed it to xpy it is better to continue using this and enter it manually but finally these instruments for example you might know that there is a laser range meter which shines a laser beam it measures how much time it takes to come back which will be in nanoseconds and shows you the reading in meters the accuracy is 1.5 mm which even with a measuring tape 
of high grade you can get because tape will have a sag tape will have expansion so in this say the lower end lesser range meter which is 40 meter range which is enough for most of the buildings because nobody needs more than 40 meters cost about 4000 rupees higher end which has 100 meters range cost about 12000 rupees but that has bluetooth and usb built in so at higher end equipment already there is computer connectivity available so it will become part of the internet of things now slowly it will percolate down to lower cost instruments also because the actual interfacing cost is not much when that happens and we are using these equipment you can directly integrate it in, into your it system but first we can do manual intervention and start using such equipment so this was the purpose of demonstrating what is forthcoming and how modern technology can change the way we conduct practicals so for example this has considered practicals to be done by students now you have 106 activities which are supposed to be demonstrated in class now we will have to map those for example there are 46 activities in physics itself they will have to be mapped to the available equipment so that you can actually demonstrate the activities to the class so when the mooc is prepared instead of only converting the written lectures into spoken things the activities which are supposed to be associated with that particular chapter can also be conducted in a lab setup in a good setup they can be videographed and that also can be included in the mooc so that where they don't have all these facilities some schools may not have not all schools will have all the facilities or they won't have the best facilities so even they will benefit because they can witness those experiments which they would otherwise have missed that is a advantage of having moocs and having such equipment because there you can use high end equipment for the demonstrations and demonstrate things in much detail you see the national repository of open education resources that yeah. we mentioned yes at one level of course acts as a repository of yeah. objects yes but at another level is actually a network of all the teachers in the country all the educators in the country right and perhaps people like you also yes so you are looking at a social networking possibility yes for extending ideas of this kind yes so a forum Hmm. which is actually debating such things yes. discussing such things so somebody for instance that small balance that you had yeah. had too small a base yeah. so obviously somebody is going to say okay let me place a wine glass on that so that yeah. the volume becomes more and yeah. liquids can also be measured in that yes, yes. so a repository of ideas of this kind yes, yes. is something that needs to be collected yes so what i would suggest is that i i, I sort of i'm giving you an invitation yes, yes. join into that we'll create that forum for you where measurement for instance is yeah, one yeah. of our yes. aims goals that yes, we're looking yes. at yes. the advantage of that is that there are a large number of teachers who yeah. would perhaps never come to any training program perhaps never be yes. you know accessing any such yeah. ideas anywhere yes. and uh, it's just a matter of chance that they might come across some idea which they will extend yes so in the afternoon i was mentioning to you i found this teacher from aurangabad or whatever small town in yeah, uh, maharashtra hmm. who had uh, stripped out the uh, removed the ip from the microscope plugged in his <laughs> uh, cool pix camera into that yes. simply stuck it in Correct. all right and then figured out that focusing can be done by looking at the back of the screen where you know the <laughs> the visual display is there mm. and he was able to show euglena he was able to show amoeba he says take a little pond water put it into the microscope and everybody can see it now there are a large number of people like this who need to be celebrated yes. who need to be brought in into this yes, yes. and extended in all directions yes. there to be recognized you have found 10 of them they will find yes. another 100 yes so creating that forum i believe should be the directions in which this this such activity should go and uh, not remain as something that is done by a few people who are interested in yes, small yes. pocket somewhere so i'll tell you further with such equipment available for the same experiments you can do more variations yes. like at present you have some fix this thing because in that much time you can only finish that you can give a different object to every student that everybody has a different experiment because you know everything can be accurately measured secondly you can construct projects student project based on such equipment because if such measurements are available then they can build up higher projects but if the measuring equipment itself is poor their projects will be poor 
So this is the second possibility. How so the availability of such material. I mean, this I uh, this this I went to a shop in and there <laughs> called Alpha Alpha stores. Uh, and just bought in one evening. So <laughs> everything is available. What we have demonstrated is such that it is available. My, my point was yes. Yes, in Mumbai. Yeah. Perhaps there are alpha. It's available. Everything is available on the net. Okay. On eBay and everything. We didn't order because we decided last week, and all the sites have crashed and couriers are not delivering. So you wouldn't have got it in time. So I just went there on Sunday and bought everything. But you can buy on eBay. It will be cheaper. Because you can shop around. So we have taken only those things which are going to be available. They are not fancy things. Or they are not proprietary things. Sir, I would like to ask one question, sir. Yes. If you are going to use these instruments, these yeah. type of digital instruments in the schools or in the classes, yes. or during the practicals, yes. then how the students can learn the, that mechanical things, for example, list content, uh, how precise that uh, instrument of no, no. you uh, no sir what i want to say yeah because you might have seen there are so many entrance questions are there based on the measurement itself yes in the at entrance examination or any entrance correct examination. then how the students can answer those such type of questions no, that for that the education system will have to change what we have shown is what is possible see, see what is happening is at present mechanical instruments have typically accuracy of one percent so our thinking is based on one percent accuracy if this has 0.1 percent accuracy, you can think differently. For example, if you have a batch of screws with mechanical this thing, you mental logical, logical and mental ability of the child will reduce, na, sir. When the no, no, it it won't because you can make out difference between coin and coin. I will show you on this. All coins are not made alike, which visually you can't make out, but this will show a difference in tens of milligrams. Okay, that accuracy may be different. No, this is important for industry. In industry, they do quality control okay. by having higher resolution. You are right. Yes. Schools consider, I am saying, in the, during the practicals, for example, sir, for example, one small example. Yes. During my uh, college studies, we yes. used to use the, uh, nature used to uh, thought that uh, physical balance. You know, with the physical balance only, you measure the weight. Yes. Mass. Yeah. But uh, nowadays, in most of the schools, teachers, they are not using the physical balance to measure a mass of any object. Yes. Because it takes more time and uh, students yes, yes. also don't have that much of time to uh, balance the yes. uh, balance. Actually, many of and the old... Gradually, the technology is going on. Old techniques are obsolete. For example, the potentiometer and everything uh, that is described no longer exists. No longer exists. Correct. It's only in textbooks. So, we'll have to change all that. Sir, actually, uh, I would like to respond to that. Yes. In the context of the school systems, way of working. You see, when I when the NCRT writes this textbook, yeah. it is aware that there is a student in Bombay, yeah. but there is also a student sitting somewhere in Ladakh. Yes. Who will never have access to most of those things that we talk about. Correct. So therefore, what they do is they sort of build up some common minimum yeah. you know, program, program, which is right down in the dumps. Yes. Now, teachers who have access to better gadgets yes. should be innovative enough to break away from that. So yes. There is no reason why that potential meter should have been used. Yeah. That, you know, that you use a multi because there was a good picture there. You use a digital multimeter cost 100 rupees. Right. I think, I think people, people yeah. like us yeah. who are educators yeah. who are sitting in training centers who have, who have a chance of you know providing better ideas to this mm. should be the first ones to break away from that textbook. Mm. The textbook was not written for context of the kind that yeah. you have. If the, the fanciest of public school is going to go and invest on a Ludhiana made weighing balance, hmm. then I think I think it's it's time we stop. <coughs> that is not science at all. Is it? Even adjusting that balance to correct yeah, yeah, yeah. measure would have taken away half the period. Yeah, even vibration and this thing. Thanks everybody. <laughs>